22 boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. should have been watching on Saturday. My word, we are basking in the afterglow of Karen's game. It was just sensational. A run of nine blues in a row put Karen in the Hall of Fame. Three consecutive all-blue rounds never been done before. It was a sensational turnaround, a classic. But you know the thing I really, really love about it? Because it's a legacy for you guys. It was Karen's self-belief. She just felt it was her game, her moment in time, and she just wanted to see how it all unfolded. That self-belief got her £75,000 and will change her life forever. So, remember that, everybody. Just a little bit of self-belief goes a long, long way. Here come the names. I hope self-belief's coming out here to the crazy chair. Okay, it's your turn, but you've got to believe it is your day. Alan. sit down here. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Go on. Alan Barker from East Ham in London. Yes. Operations manager for an airfield. Yeah. You run an airfield? Well, along with a lot of other people, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, uh, it's owned by the council. It's all private flights. Um, mainly, uh, well, a great deal of old world, World War II. Which one's that? Warbirds. Northworld. North Wales. North Wales. Very North famous Wales. airfield. Fantastic airfield. Played its part in the and Second World War. It's very much a friendly community sort of airfield. It's great. It's great. great. And do they know you're called Pigpen? Uh, they don't know. Pigpen's a very old name from... I used to work for an airline and they, in their wisdom they brought us all into chocolate coloured uniforms with silver stripes on them. And uh, the, the day I got mine I completely covered it. And the name was Pigpen, and it was Pigpen for years after that. So it wasn't Irene that gave you the no, name? No, Irene didn't give me the name, no, no. She still thinks I'm a Pigpen, no. though. <laughs> I'm the most untidy man in the world. How did you two meet, Irene? Oh, I worked at London Transport um, in the kitchen as a catering assistant, and Alan was a bus driver. And I used to cook for him and serve him all his meals and look after him. <laughs> and he chatted you up? Um, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been together? 20 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And what have you brought with you? Right, well... May I? Yeah. First of all, this is my wedding. We've been together for uh, 13, well, 12 years, and it was coming up to our 13th anniversary of being together, and we said we don't really want to be a 13th anniversary but uh, they're the five most important people in my life and this it's called a martinetza and if anybody's been to Bulgaria they've probably seen them and um, this was given to me this year on the well just after March sorry the first just after the first of March and two days later you phoned me and asked me to come on the show so I thought well the martinetza has got to be there got to oh I like those sort of stories Vidin, is that the place? Vidin is the town in Bulgaria. I've, I, we've, we've got a house in a small village just outside uh, Vidin, but Vidin is the main town, uh, right on the River Danube. 
And ideally, you'd like to live there. I want to live there. I can live there very, very cheaply. Um, and I've, I've always had jobs with small companies, never had a pension or anything. So my little bit of state pension will go a lot farther there. Tell the truth, it's the beer. Well, beer is 20p a bottle. That does make a slight difference. That's a 500ml bottle as well. <laughs> so, yes, that did, did make a slight difference. Are you happy about this? Um, yeah, because he's going to buy me a hot tub so he can drink his beer and I can sit in my hot tub with my drinks. <laughs> sounds idyllic. <laughs> it also sounds like we need to get you a fair amount of money to finance it. Well, yeah, would be nice. Would be nice. Happy to go? I need you please to confirm you chose box number three at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Are you going to have a system? No. No? No. The only box really that now is going to mean anything to me is number three because it's my wedding anniversary. So. Ah, splendid. So that's it. Okay, Alan. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful game. Good Thank luck to you. you. Thank you. Purely because I know how horrible it is, waiting till the end, <laughs> I'm going to take the newbie first. So, Reese, number 17, please. Thank you, Reese. Welcome to the game. Thank you. Okay. I hope it's blue. Good luck. Okay. Thanks, Reese. Spotting planes. If only to shut him up. <laughs> Stan number 13, please. Okay, what flamboyant gesture do you have? Um, <clears throat> I was going to just open it and make it blue. I think that's flamboyant enough. That's cool this geezer wants me, to win mate. big. Come on, Mr. <laughs> To you, he's not going to win fifty thousand pounds. No, because it's two fifty. Oh, okay. Sorry, Al. You've got to take them out as well, haven't you? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's not giving you a kiss after that stand. No, you <laughs> the lovely Jane. Oh, number eleven. Okay, Jane. Thank you. Oh, it started so well. I know. Never mind. Think of Karen. Absolutely. Think of Karen's game. Two big boys sitting there out. Don't want yeah. to get in smoke. It's the M75 more than out of the first round. Number 18, Ryan. Good man, I wish all the best. Be one of those. He's going to make me fight for it. I knew he would. This is an amazing period in Deal or No Deal. It really is. Hello. Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? No, of course you didn't. What made it worse? It was the temper. Well, he, he's got loads of confidence. He's had a shocking start, but he's already saying, remember Karen, so you're dead right. The legacy of confidence from Karen's game is going to be magnificent. Yeah, oh, the banker says you're dead right. He always knew it'd be a battle with you. <laughs> he likes you. Yeah, well, what is it in particular that you like about Alan? Yeah, the one, two, three hammer blow, yeah. 50, 75, and the 100, yeah. Whee! Now he's saying it. That's a first. Right, front of mind is the thought, Karen's game and 
It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. I've never heard him say that before. I've heard other players say it, but I've never heard the banker joining it. Hence, despite the fact that you've lost those three, he's giving you three and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Which is very good. That's good. It's good. That is a fantastic opening offer, considering what I just did. But I'm ready for the question. Three and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thanks, Mr. Banker, but no deal. Alan, thank you. Come on, Alan! Right then, guys. Can we have some blues now? Just to show him. Penny would be really cool. Number one, Lucy. Joint anklers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, how is your ankle? It's not too bad, hobbling about still. It's better than mine, and I did mine six months ago. <laughs> oh, really? Is that why you're sort of That's limping a bit? Limping. How did you do yours? I fell down two steps in a bar on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> on the way in? In Bulgaria. <laughs> All right, uh, please stop this run of his, because if we follow it through logically, this is going to be the quarter of a million, and we don't want that because we want to believe it's on three. So away we go, open box one, and let's have one of those blues he's lusting after. Five grand, you do like reds. I do like reds, but that's before, that's, that's a lot of four. I've done it now, that's, I've, okay. done, I've done my red run now. Okay. Don't go near Joel, that's all he does. I think perhaps Joel's going to break with this, this, this run now, so I'm going to go with Joel. Are you? Yeah. This number break. 19, Joel, please. Thank you, Joel. Good luck, mate. Is your ankle strained or is it actually a break? Oh, two fractures. It's a big break. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> watch Come back and watch me win £250,000. Please. Please. <laughs> manager of Nairfield, but would really love to spend his retiring years in Bulgaria. That's right. With wife Irene and a quarter of a million pounds. Yeah. If you now start taking out blues, you're going to keep him nervous. Yeah. Where are you going? Well, I've got one more. Jumping out there. Number five, Vincenzo. Vincenzo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Did you have a good weekend? Lovely, wonderful. Yeah, go on then. Oh, oh no, the gap gets bigger still. It does, but that big one's still there. The big one is still there. Because? Because it's there. You can't possibly take it out if it's in there. No, that's true. And if you have Karen's attitude, um, and it's there, you are our first male quarter millionaire. Irene and I said we were going to go all the way. I wouldn't have done if she weren't here, but she's managed to get here. And I said we're going to go all the way. All the way to the end, to find out what's in box three. It's a big old, isn't it, that? A big old. It is. Hello. I, I do wish you wouldn't bother saying, oh, what a shame. We know you don't mean it. Yes, yes, he's going all the way. Yeah, he made to, yeah. He's backed up by Irene and they're going all the way. He says he hears what you're saying. Of course. Are you telling the truth? He says he's going to be watching you very closely. As I tell you, the value of your box that started at three and a half thousand pounds is now worth a thousand pounds. Expected. Um, did, it, did the damaging end, didn't it? Yep. I'm ready for the question now. 
£1,000, Alan. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank no. you. Right. Number four, John. You promised not to kiss me, it's blue. Uh, you'll get a kiss if it's a blue, and I'll tell you, because <laughs> I'll need them now. still got the good ones. Yeah, well, we're hanging on to the big dream, certainly. It's still there, but 15,000. At this point in the game, you wanted to keep that. Just use your marbles to it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ready to start waxing. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love watching this. Wax me, Rich. <laughs> You to watch this. Away you go, Rich. Oh, Alan, all the best for you and Irene. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're looking vulnerable, I would say, at this point. That's Not so down and out. Not down and out by any means. Hello? Okay. Al, do we agree it's a bit precarious? It's precarious. Yeah. But so is life. Yeah, but the critical thing he says is the quarter of a million is propping it up. Okay, he doesn't believe you're going all the way to the end. He thinks you're one of those players who was just trying to talk up a good offer. Ooh. Ooh his attitude's changed. <laughs> Truth is, as soon as he gets a decent offer, He'll be out of here. I know his type. So, he might as well go now. Five thousand pounds. Ooh, that was a long Not bad, not bad. Not good. It's your hot tub, boy. But you agree, don't you, with me? It's there. Ready for the question now? Don't hang around. Once. I'm going to be here once. Okay, Al? Your game, your question. £5,000. Deal or no deal? Thanks, Mr. Banker, but no deal. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> Jenny, we started together. Number 15, please. Precarious, the banker described this game as. Actually, quite frightening. <laughs> Because if you had a disastrous round, it's game set and match. Let's see if we can have a touch of the Karens. Start hitting them blues and doing all blue rounds. Jenny, this is really important. It'd be fantastic if you were Penny Jenny again. Thank you. Good luck, Al. Thanks, Jen. Oh, no. No. Ghastly. Could have That's... done with a blue. Well, you've got to have... I know you keep pointing at it. You've really because got to have some... I can't get rid of it. It's in that box. You've got to have some self-belief now. We were talking about it at the beginning. You really have to believe that you've got it. Lisa, number 12. I'm really going to miss you. Lisa, things are getting really dire now. We've got to have... Penny, Lisa. Please. Twenty thousand, ten thousand. And we were looking for an all blue round. I know. And you're living dangerous. You're right on the edge now. And in terms of the mega money, it's all over. It's all or nothing. Yeah. Okay. Shoulders back. Shoulders this back. This is going to be all right. Irene, you believe as well. We've proved that it is possible to have a game turn around completely. And as long as you're determined to find out what is on the table, you can win life-changing money. 
And this guy, if he's got that attitude and that luck, could be our first male quarter millionaire. Don't miss it. has lived a life of mixed fortunes, I would say. Very mixed. Anyone who can fall over and break his ankle on his way into the bar <laughs> has got to be regarded as slightly unlucky. Yep. He went on the hitchhiking holiday to Holland and ended up in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was intended. Shall we open one more? Yes. Betty, number six. All yes. right, Betty. Love a blue. He needs a blue. He's got to have a blue. And if he doesn't want the offer to be dragged down, got to get rid of that one P. Thank you, Betty. We arrived together, and it's been lovely meeting you and your family. I wish you every. This has been a horrible round, Betty. A ghastly round. It mustn't be an all red round, and we don't want to see that big one go. I'm just about to put it. Thank you. Well, it was an all red round. That's it. I've had it. You've had it. You know, red round. Right, okay. It's there. Box three. It is. That's the only reason I haven't hit it. I'm the unluckiest man in the world and I would have hit it earlier on, so trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It is interesting. I can't remember one like this for a very, very long time. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had this, actually. His options, as he sees it, are to uh, make you a low offer at this point, in which case he's never ever going to know the answer to the question, is he going all the way to the end? <clears throat> or he could make you a very healthy offer at this point, try and get you out of here. And if you know deal it, then he will know that you're telling the truth. I love it when he's got a dilemma. <laughs> Want me to ask him then? And which would you prefer him to do? I I, I wouldn't wish to sway him in any particular <laughs> way. <laughs> uh, there you go, he's not giving anything away. Okay, good answer, he says. You've just earned yourself the high offer. £8,000. <laughs> Oh, I think he's definitely hit a nerve with that one. Where's your energy? Where's your all this positive that you were going to put into it? It's here. It's here. It's there. It's a serious amount of money. I'll explain why it's a serious amount of money. That is exactly the amount of money I would draft at present though. <laughs> Information he couldn't have known until that moment. <laughs> That's right. But no, I'm ready for the question. Okay, Alan. Eight thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No disrespect at all, Mr. Banker. That was a fantastic offer, but no deal. <laughs> He's going to say something helpful. But you can't guess what he said. Um, but he's convinced I'm going home with the penny, probably. No, no, no. no. Is he showing? He was trying to find out if you were telling the truth, wasn't he? And he, he? believes me. And he believes you now. Yeah. He does believe you. Yeah. And. He's sitting on the edge of his seat here because you do have a very positive approach. And with the support of Irene, if you got it, you're going to take it. Yeah. Okay, I think it was very brave to turn down at £8,000, particularly now you've shared with us that that is the scale of your overdraft. It is a fact, and he's quite happy to admit it before we dive into this round. 
he now believes that you will go all the way because that's how you want to play the game. It is now missed that money. Yeah. Number two, Leon, please. Why? Just look round, felt it at that moment. It doesn't matter, the 250's there. Okay, Leon, this is undoubtedly the round so far. Give us one of those blues, please. Really hope, Mr. Penny, mate. All right. Set on my shoulder as well. Do you know that? We're all with you, I'll tell you how. Oh, and why not? Sam, the beautiful Sam who smiles all the time. I've never seen her not smiling. Sam, number eight, please. All right, Sam. Now we want you to keep us smiling. It is a fact that we now all believe that he is going to go all the way. So, with a quarter million still in play, we believe that we are looking at the man who's going to become. The first player in nearly two years to get those confetti cannons to explode. Other people have brought the quarter million to the table, but they have not had the self-belief and the courage to go for it. They opted out. He said he's going to go for it. Therefore, please, please, let's not see it. Open the box. Oh, all the best, Alan. I really want this for you. I really want to see those cannons. One to go to a five box scenario that is totally extraordinary if you think of where we've travelled. Gary. Okay. Number 16. Here we go. This is the cheer, not the scream and the groan. Gary, give us the cheer. Open 16. Good luck, mate. Keep believing. I do. Keep believing. This is going to be a very, very interesting call now. He cannot afford to play games. He has conceded the point that he believes you will go all the way to the end. Is it there? I know it is. This is going to be one of the most interesting conversations for a long time. Hello. Oh, that's an interesting point. He thinks you reduced his tactical power to zero when you no dealt eight thousand pounds. He can do all the mind games. He can play with your brain, but there's no substitute for raw courage. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. He does not doubt for a moment that you are going to go all the way to the end. He doesn't doubt for a moment that he can stop you. How surprised would you be if I said that the offer is £12,000? I'd be gobsmacked. I'd be really surprised. Why? Because. I've still got the three blues, and he thinks he doesn't believe it's in there. No, probably not. So I'd be well surprised at twelve thousand. Okay. It probably does feel that most appropriate now would be an offer of eighteen thousand pounds. <laughs> does that feel like an appropriate offer? That feels like a very appropriate offer. Your offer is 24,000. I need to sit down for a little while. <laughs> 
Sally Fortune famous phrase. Yeah. You've been very courageous. He's used the word courage three times in his comments about you. You shared with us the overdraft. Yeah. Um, therefore, quite clearly, if you've got an overdraft of eight grand, um, 24,000 is moving into life changing territory. Yes, it is. If it's what you truly, truly, truly want, then take it. But you never get offered a quarter of a million. You open the box on the table. Alan, the positivity that you've shown and the confidence in box number three between the two of you is kind of convinced. Yeah. You, you've convinced me kind of thing to a certain point. No, I'm ready for the question. big moment in both your lives. Here it comes. £24,000. Deal or no deal? Mr. Banker, you're a very clever man. Deal. Praying on my mind, the thought: Is it possible that in two games, two consecutive games, you've got the quarter of a million? Of course, it, it is totally possible. Oh, of course. But but they have that, no memory. But it's that probability and, thing, isn't and it? And because of that, the, 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 there was no fallback position. Yeah. And he knew it. He knew it. He knew he'd got me. Okay. Now, if you do an all blue round now, yeah, I think you're going to have a really, really uncomfortable moment in your life. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. really do. So. Uh, do yourself a favour. Number seven, AD. Come on, we're still thinking positive. OK, AD. Unfortunately, we know you haven't got the quarter of a million because it's on the table behind us. Yeah, apparently. But... <laughs> so, yeah. AD, could you just produce a, a replica of it? Good luck. take out the 3,000 and the 50 pounds. Come on then, give us the perfect round. 21, Post Tina. Deal. Come on Tina, that's what we want, 50 pounds or 3,000. 1p, oh, oh, how about that? How about that? Oh, that's a shame. 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 Oh, £50 or £3,000, that was going to be the climax. <laughs> well, what a game. What a game. I think you managed to convince all of us the quarter of a million was in there. I convinced myself. £1,400 at this point, <laughs> but he did make another point. You'd actually convinced him, as well as me and quite a few other people, that you'd got the quarter of a million in there. Yeah. Here we go, we find out exactly what you brought to the table. Is it a massive victory or is it just a jolly big one? It's a it's jolly, jolly big, big one. one. Yeah. What have we done for you with £24,000? Oh, you changed my life. All off to Bulgaria, beautiful house, all finished now. So. Brilliant. Excellent. Alan, Excellent. it's been a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you for your legacy, because I think you've built on Karen's legacy, yeah. and I think it's a good time to play the banker at the moment, because he's a seriously demoralised and worried man. <laughs> Alan, £24,000. <laughs> Situation where Alan has built on that and 
and he's proved that if you can convince the banker you're going all the way to the end, you're going to get bigger offers. It's a good, good time to be in the Dream Factory. So, come tomorrow. Bye-bye.